Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and this weekend I am doing the Dewey's 24 hour readathon again and this is my TBR pile and my TBR video. So I warn you now I'm not going to end up reading all of these books but I'm going to do my very best to get through as many as I can. So let me just put them down so I don't drop them. And we will start with what I'm currently part way through. And the first one on my list is Finishing Pocket Apocalypse by Shannon Maguire. This is part of Shannon's Encrypted series. It's the fourth novel. Um, I picked it up in February, was enjoying it, but then put it down, got distracted, haven't gone back to it yet. So I am about, let me see, I'm about 90 pages into it. Um, and it's not a very big book, so I'm hopeful that I might be able to finish it during the readathon. So that's book number one. Book number two that I'm in the middle of and that I will probably use either right before I go to bed, um, because for me the readathon starts at 10 p.m. So I'm planning to read until midnight um, and then go to sleep. So and that is Emma by Jane Austen. That's if I still have any left of it to read by the time the readathon starts tomorrow. Um, because I'll probably read some tonight and quite possibly tomorrow during the day as well. But this is a reread for me. It's part of my Jane Austen rereading. And it's, of course, the story of Emma Woodhouse and her disasters in matchmaking. So um, those two are the ones on my currently reading pile that I would like to make more progress on or finish during the readathon. Um, let me see. Then I have, I have, this wasn't originally on my list, but I got a email from my library today with a hold request that had come in and that is Raven Black by Anne Cleves. Um, I watched the Shetland TV show earlier in the year and really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I would try the first one of the books because I quite like crime. Um, and I will probably, I think, use this maybe if I'm need a change of genre because most of my pile is science fiction and fantasy. So if I need, a, need something a little bit different, a little bit of crime, I might try some Anne Cleves. This is going on the list because my dad keeps asking if I've read it yet. And that is The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin because my parents bought me this for Christmas off my wish list. I've never read any Ursula Le Guin and that is, I know, terrible of me. This is quite a short one. Um, so it might be a really good one to get through in the readathon. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's about exactly. Um, yeah, a strange envoy from space brings news of a vast collision of planets. Um, that this world of winter is, is kind of hostile about joining or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so I might pick up the left hand of darkness. Now, one of the things I want to do in this readathon is try and read some of my Alcrate books. I have not yet read any of the books I've gotten through Alcrate, and I've been, I've had what, maybe five um, Alcrates come so far, and I've not read any of the books, so I really should. So the first one on my list of the Alcrate books is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. This is the story of a princess who has magic, who is betrothed to a prince of another country that doesn't like magic. And when she arrives to meet, you know, her betrothed and get ready for the wedding, she kind of maybe starts to have feelings for her betrothed sister. So this would be meeting my year's goal of uh, reading more uh, queer protagonists. So that is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coltest. And the other one of my Owl Crate books that I put on my list, because I think I really enjoy it and it could be fun and it's not too long, is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This, I believe, is a story about a 17-year-old female pirate who is hunting for treasure and gets herself captured on purpose by another pirate group so that she can find the information she needs. Unfortunately for her, her captor is very handsome and shenanigans then ensue. So it sounds really fun. It's not too long. Um, and yeah, so again, it's one of the Outcrate books that have been through recently and I would really like to pick it up. Next up, I have some Hugo reading because um, I like to read. I've written Hugo Awards and I like to read for them. The first one on my list, I actually thought I had a physical copy of, but it turns out 
I have the second book in the series um, and this is for the best series category and that is the Temeraire series by uh, Naomi Novik. Um, so I've just bought on Kindle, which I don't have on me, um, the first book in the Temeraire series. So I would like to try and pick that up. Furthermore, with my Hugo reading, um, the Starlit Wood New Fairy Tales is, not, is a collection of short stories and I always like to have some short stories around for uh, the Dewey's Readathon. And it is edited by Dominic Parison and Narva Wolf. Now Narva Wolf has been nominated as an editor in the short form category, I believe. So this would be an example of her work. And also one of the stories in this book by the one by Amal Almatar was nominated in the short story category. I have already read it because it was republished in an issue of Uncanny Magazine. But, you know, so there are two Hugo reasons to read this very beautiful anthology. So I'll hope to read at least some of the stories out of this during the readathon. Um, if I find myself needing more short stories, I might have a look at some of the ones from Tor.com that were nominated um, because I can probably grab those on the website. Um, I'm a little limited in my Hugo reading at the moment because I'm waiting for the voters pack to come out before I really buy anything else. So that's my novels and my short stories. Um, and I also, because it's a readathon, have a bunch of comics to read because um, they're always a really good break in between longer works um, or, you know, as works that don't have quite so many words. So you can give your eyes a bit of a rest, that kind of thing. So what I have is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl Volume 3, Squirrel, You Really Got Me Now. So I've really been enjoying The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. I also have from my library... Uh, Ms. Marvel Volume 6, Civil War 2. Um, so I originally picked this up because I got confused about which Ms. Marvel was actually nominated for the few you guys. I've already read Volume 5, but I do love my Ms. Marvel. I'm not sure what's going on with the Civil War 2 thing. I'm not really a fan of the Civil War-y type storylines, but it's Ms. Marvel, so I will still give it a go and keep up with it. And finally, also related to the Hugos, but not directly, I have Saga Volume 5 by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughan. I read the first three volumes of Saga when they were all nominated for Hugos. Um, and of course, Volume 6 has now been nominated, I believe, this year. So I've just recently read Volume 4 and I also picked up Volume 5 from the library. So I'm all ready to go into the Hugo nominated Volume 6. That saga, which is the kind of space opera story, a very domestic space opera story um, regarding, you know, a sort of a Romeo and Juliet, you know, romance from both sides that happen to have a child and are being hunted because they've crossbred, I guess. So, um, yeah, so those are the comics that I picked up. So I have a very large pile of books. Like I said, I probably will not read all of them. Um... But I really hope to get through or at least start as many of them as possible. It's quite possible that my current reading list will end up with more things on it um, than I actually finish. But, you know, that's that's the way things work at readathons. Um, let me know if you're participating in the readathon and what your TBR is. I really enjoy Dewey's 24-hour readathon. Um, and I will see you later in this weekend. I'm going to be uh, vlogging the readathon as much as I can. So yeah, I will see you all when it's done. Bye.